asking, do you miss, everybody keep asking, do you miss DD4L? <laughs> uh, First uh, of all, do you miss filming? No, I don't miss filming. You don't miss filming? No, I don't. Okay. Welcome to Reality TV. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's get to it. Faith and her mom, Dana from Bring It, tells us what they've been up to lately. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy. Now check this out. I guess we can talk a few things about where you are, what school you're in, and do you miss, everybody keep asking, do you miss DD4L? <laughs> uh, First of all, do you miss filming? No, I don't miss filming. You don't miss filming? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Never, I like miss like the performing. I love miss, the okay. energy of the people. I miss y'all. Like I miss being able to connect with you guys on the stage and just hearing y'all and just mm -hmm. feed um, off of you all's energy that y'all give. Now that I do miss. Like that feeling would never go away. Um. Mm -hmm. I miss that so much. And of course, I miss performing. And <laughs> so that's, uh, that's my favorite thing to do. I could perform every day if I wanted to. Yes. Um, but right now in my life, I'm definitely in college, as I said before. I'm definitely in college at the Jackson State University. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am a biology major um, studying pre physical therapy. Um, so, um, cause I'm looking to be a physical therapist. Um, that's one of my goals, my lifelong goals to be a physical therapist for dancers. Mm -hmm. If you go around, you go to physical therapists, there aren't any for dancers. And I want to be one of the first to start a physical therapy practice for dancers. So that's one of my goals. That's a little secret for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. well, I mean, don't forget to mention you teach tap. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And teach ballet. Um, Okay. Is that zero zero to us some V? <laughs> yeah. I'm also working at a performing arts school and I'm teaching tap. I teach lyrical dance. I teach hip hop. I teach um, so much. I teach pretty much everything. Everything that I know, I help teach it. African, just everything. So I'm definitely enjoying that as well. Alice said what? Jay Sean scored the first two points. Hey! That's what I mean by go hard or go home. Y'all heard my fab three. My brother started <laughs> out the game, let y'all know how it go. <laughs> Break the rim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. But anyway, back to me. Oh, uh, what, what else am I doing? But mainly I'm just helping teach, giving back when I can, mm -hmm. um, dance-wise, and mm -hmm. um, being a big sister. As you can see, going back and forth, trying to do that. <laughs> Where are they? It's so quiet. I know. They upstairs. They oh, okay. Gotcha. I was playing in my makeup, so <laughs> I'm enjoyed by now. Okay. <laughs> I want to uh, take a couple. It's like I think I see like nine questions in a box. I'm going to like pop them in because okay. I don't know how long we can be on here. We haven't been on here in forever. Uh, um, somebody said, do the both of you miss dancing dolls and DDPs? Yes. Um, have you ever wanted to go back to being dancing doll and a DDP? Not necessarily go, um, back. Can you see me, Faith? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, okay. Cause I didn't know. Um, I wouldn't want to go back to be a DDP, but I would definitely want to go and help train some of the other DDPs on how to maneuver through dancing dolls. Yeah. Um, somebody said, "How's everything going with us?" I think we didn't did a recap. We are pretty good right now. Do your kids live with you, Dana? <laughs> uh, uh. We got all got our own house. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, they live with me, but they don't know I'm about to give me a one bedroom apartment and leave them all. <laughs> um. Somebody said they love our bun. 
thank you very much. Our bun did not get like this. It wasn't this at first. It took a lot of it. It took a lot of work. Um, mm -hmm. um prayer. Somebody said, uh, Dana, is you working? Girl, I've been, I never stopped working. Been working since I was 14 years. I think I took a pause and then that was it. Um, is Faith working? Yes, yeah, she's working. Um, <clears throat> how y'all day been? The day has been amazing. Amazing. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hold on. Somebody, oh, it was some people requesting to join. But no, that's not. But, um, I guess we can, um, what you want to do, take one or two calls. Is there anything you want to talk about or no? Good. Um, let's see. What was your favorite um, part about raising me as your daughter? I mean, as yeah, as your daughter. Dang, you came for the throat with the question. Dang, man. Um, what is my favorite thing for one? Do I still get to say I'm still raising you, even though you like about to be 22? At this point, I'm no longer raising you. <laughs> this is just the fruit. You, I'm living in the, the evidence of my fruit or something. Pretty much. Okay, my favorite thing with raising Faith Simone Thickpen. Hmm. Dang, Faith. You can't be a Um. I would have to say um, <clears throat> definitely the light that's within you. It's like um, you have this aura about yourself that can light up any room when you smile. Your smile is contagious. Your spirit is contagious. Um, and that's what I have enjoyed the most. It's like that's why your nickname for me is Sunny Delight. Because it's sunny. It's like a sunny delight. You know, when you come around, it's a sunny delight. Like, I know when your presence is not in the home. I can yeah. tell when your presence is not here. You know, um, it's like, we're sunny delighted. Like, that's, that's what I know you for. So it's like, the easiest part about raising you is that you came with a light inside of you. And um, that light shines so bright that it illuminates in everything you do. So that's that has been my favorite thing about me being chosen to be your life guide on this earth. And, you know, I've heard several times where people say the kid chooses the mom because they're racing. The sperm is racing. <laughs> <laughs> so you crack through. So that means you. Woo! I'm just saying you want to be, bro. I mean, I guess through all that crazy, I knew you still <laughs> I mean, what's good? You came for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was only 17 years old. I didn't even know you was coming. <laughs> well, thank you. I love yeah. it. I, I never really paid attention until this year to how often people refer to me as to something shining or something bright. Like, either they call me a star or they call me the sun or just a light. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. And I yeah. just paid attention until this year. And I'm honored to have that. Like, I'm honored to be, to have, be a, <laughs> such a joyous spirit that could, you know, help. Mm -hmm. Like Zira said, from, from birth, it's been that way. Like, and it's not even anything to, it's, I'm not even boasting. Your baby shower, I was, your baby shower, by the time your baby shower came, I was 18. You had over a hundred people at an eighteen year old baby shower way back in two thousand so and then being the senior baby of the school, everybody like you having a baby, so then when you're born, the hospital in two thousand the people at the hospital was like. Who is this child that the weight room was loaded with half of my class? <laughs> so it's like from the moment of um, the moment that birth was given to you, it was like it was already like a covering of an anointing or a gift. So it's like I want you to walk in that, and I mean those things that I instill in you. And the only time you get drill, Sergeant Mom, is when you have let the enemy lie to you. 
-hmm. when you allow the enemy to come whisper weaknesses all in your mind you already know your mama is a hardcore spiritual gangster warrior you know i will fight hard with the enemy messing with my kids <laughs> <laughs> somebody said okay bye bye thank you for joining I <clears throat> but um okay i i see some more is there some more questions oh wait 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 oh no no it's the same ones but um <clears throat> yeah well i enjoyed you and i can't wait for you to come home where your big head daddy he better give you back <laughs> he actually just took deuce and they went somewhere but yeah he gone he, you know, he ain't, he don't want to get me back. He, he, <laughs> he gonna kidnap me. What'd he say? He said he gonna kidnap you. <laughs> he said, you ain't going home. Just, I'll buy you all new clothes. You ain't, you've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would, I would drive to Atlanta. <laughs> That'll be the first time you drive to Atlanta, huh? First time. He don't even know it. I, all I remember, I, you know, speaking of first time driving, first of all, everybody know. I don't drive, okay? Just forget about it. But that time that my spirit was just like, mm, something I write, you were on tour. Mm -hmm. And I kept on waking up and I said, my child is not good on this tour. I'm yeah. talking to you. I'm like, Faye, you good? You like, yes, ma'am. I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I mean, my spirit was vexed. I'm like, no, something I write. I literally packed up your brothers and sisters Told Shauna K, let's go. I drove all the way to Missouri. I had to lay eyes on you. The moment I lay eyes on you, you boo-hoo cry. I said, now, that, I knew. I knew something went right. When that's, when you in, that's when you in tune mm -hmm. with your child. And that's another thing. You gave me the, the secret key to being able to read minds because you would never talk. But, um, <laughs> But no, I have enjoyed talking to you and I'm thank you for my recap. I'm going to try to go live like every Friday to kind of do recaps on what we did for the week. But um, this was my first week. I tried to go back in my shell a couple times and was like, ain't nobody checking for this stuff. But it's not about that. Right. It's just pouring back into people in this season. And if you are young on here, you're following me. I'm going to tell you right now. Stop following people that leading you in the wrong direction. Be your own authentic version of yourself. I have a problem with children copying, being bullied, being weak-minded. Mm -mm. Mama Dana, you can't be up under Mama Dana with that. So if you follow me, you about to get what she said. And it's a hard, I'm, I, I don't play. I love hard. I fight hard. I war hard. It's just hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you're going to love it over here. You're going to love it over here. You you're going to read these. You're going to love it over here. But, um... Uh, uh, it feels good to actually know what love is and to know what love feels like. Yeah that's like big for us so now i'm to the point where i i quote unquote mastered being what's my shirt say that mom <laughs> i've uh mastered <clears throat> you know um just life university as a whole so now it's time for me to like get yeah, i love you in a relationship you ready for that <laughs> <laughs> be like yeah i'm going on a date are you ready no 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 <laughs> But Frank, you know, quit playing, man. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. No. <laughs> y'all being selfish now. It's time. It's time for me to grow up. I think y'all think we should start letting her date. Say no. Say oh no. It's time. It is time. <laughs> I've done all of my sweet mommy things. Yes, it's time. I guess. So are we real life taking a vote on if I get to get personal love and attention in relationship? Y'all have had me too. You know, long. you know four kids you got four million. <laughs> oh my god faith you are about to be 22 Jalen will be 20 jay sean just turned 18 jabron 17 jabron 17 like y'all don't y'all can go home y'all can go home <laughs> uh, they, they must be on, 
Uh, are they voting? Are they voting? Somebody yeah, they, said no. Wait, they, yep. They, they, <laughs> they're on my side. They're on my side. They're on my side. <laughs> they on my side. Bam. Bam. <laughs> uh uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> Who said I guess? Somebody, somebody saying no. <laughs> well, whoever, trying, they better be very strong. Right. Somebody oh. said I wasn't the love of the type, but now I am because of my son. He's wondering, can't stop kids. Right. You know what? And I tell my girls that all the time. Boys are more affectionate. My boys Let's are way more affectionate. Whatever. I don't care. Y'all just favor them more from birth. That's why. <laughs> no. We're, that's a whole nother live. I'm not even finna go into that. That's a whole nother live. So schedule that live. Somebody said, I just got done watching old episodes. Well, I have to go back and watch the last season. Like, from episode to ep episode. To episode. Like, we have said several times, we're gonna watch the last episodes and then, you know, go live and talk about them. Like, we really need to do this. But, um, I don't know if um some of you are joining late. I see a lot of people um coming on here, but I can't. They moving so fast, I can't even see them. But again, this is Faith and I. We're just doing a whole recap of what she said for the week. And um, my thing is to be more consistent. Um, to actually show up, to actually pour into you all. It's like I have over three hundred some thousand followers, and I say to myself, they're not followers to me. It's like 300,000 souls to me. It's like, I care about these people. So why should I selfishly keep what I've endured or gone through as a mom to myself? It's moms following me. It's children following me. Like, I feel like we should pour back into everyone. So this year, y'all hold me accountable. If you see me missing a day, go on my DM and be like, Mama Dana, what she said? What did she say? What's up, Faith? I know you holding me accountable because oh. you found it every day. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, well, the last one was today. So <clears throat> that was a strong. It was like it came out strong, uh -huh. and that's when they really get to see what type of mom I am when it come out strong. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know the uh the verbiage like verbatim. Mm -hmm. But all around, I think I'm saying um, you get to choose the mom you want from me according to the decisions you make. Right. And that comes from playing the victim. Ah, mm -hmm. Can I use the word hate? I hate when kids <laughs> play the victim. You said we can use that word. Sorry. Hate is a strong word. Okay, I'm a strong person. <laughs> strongly dislike. I strongly dislike when my fab four play the victim and don't like to own my reaction of a mother because you didn't own the decision you made. So you've been there before where I say you choose the mom you get from me by the decision you made. I want you to expound on that, ma'am. Go ahead. Um, basically, it's just like when, as a child, you know, when you want to do things, you want to be secretive, you want to um, keep things for your mom, you want to um, be closed in, not communicate properly, not doing things your parents ask you to do, um, trying to be grown when you're not ready to be grown, just like when you're setting certain tones of the relationship that are constantly being negative tones, that's when my mom was like, I need you to give a real transparent moment where it's like, you got the mom that you deserve by the decision you made. Like, um, a specific moment. Mm, if you can recall, I'm trying to recall one. Um, Huh. I really can't think of a specific moment per se, like mm -hmm. what happened or anything like that, but I just know like certain instances where it's been like, we'll, I'll just, I don't know. But basically like when I said negative behavior, said negative tones. Nah, um, I got uh, one that all y'all do. It just came uh, to mind. 
Which when one? When y'all create spam pages. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sit up there and laugh. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Hey. <laughs> When y'all created spam pages for 10, I'm like, nobody posts on their Instagram no more. <laughs> Where is everybody at? Faith not posting, Jalen, Jay Sean, Javon, where is everybody? Y'all chumps and created spam pages. I'm talking about straight clowning on the spam pages. And you think I'm supposed to come in as a mama saying, oh my God. I just found out that you made a swim page with cussing on it and all that. You got me so up. So that's where you get the example of you get the mom you want from me yeah. according to the decisions you make. And then it's like when I sat down and processed it, I was saying to myself, that's exactly how our father is. Mm -hmm. The amount of work you how you show up in your relationship with God what you sow into that relationship is what you will reap how you show up as his child your trust your belief your faith that's how he will show up it's like he will meet you where you are you know sacrifices have to be made in order for him to come up and sacrifice more for you so it's like if I'm gonna show up as this you know evil child doing our that's that's the results of what I'm going to get. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like with my parenting, I start, I pause and start like saying, Holy Spirit, help me. Because it's like a little bit too much for me. You know, being a single mom, people don't quite understand the depths of it. I wouldn't say I'm a single parent because we have a village that help. But 80% of the time, the voice you guys are hearing is mine. So mm -hmm. I need to make sure that voice is connected to my father. Mm -hmm. And I still stand by it. We can't show up any kind of way for him and expect him to just show up overflowing with gifts, money, grace, favor, all of this. There's a level of sacrifice. So you get the mother you want from me according to the decisions you make. Because I used to play on the, you know, oh, I'm wrong. No, mm -hmm. y'all wrong. Y'all bless wrong. But, um, so <clears throat> out of everything, even if I haven't written about it yet or made a quote about it yet, out of everything with me raising you, what is your favorite takeaway that you will take with you that you will impart in your children whenever you are a mom? Uh, my favorite? Um, definitely. It's kind of similar to go hard or go home, but basically like, be, be it's it really is go hard and go home honestly because we have other you have other quotes that you say like be the best version of yourself you can be always show up and work towards perfection you don't have to be perfect but work towards perfection so mm -hmm. that all kind of go into go hard and go home and whatever you do and i think that's one of the main things i'm Definitely. I mean, it's a lot of things that you share with us that I'm going to share with my children if I'm blessed to have children. That's um, honorable. Thank you. <laughs> but <laughs> definitely, that's number one. Just not being afraid to show up and stand on who you are. Stand strong in what mm -hmm. your morals are, you, what you believe in, um, who you are as a person, your crafts, um, everything. Just be strong. Be bold about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. thank you and um you know my number one thing is i want you guys to be greater than i have ever been in my life y'all know that i was a teen mom you guys see the daily struggles that um we endure being a union a unit but you also see like the level of of servitude that is given the level of generosity the level of care and it's like those characteristics are the ones that I want y'all to like take away. But hearing you say it, and I hope you're not just saying it for a lot, like I, you know, we ain't yeah. heard none of this. So, you know, for the people that's just joining, Faith has been away from me almost 30 days. She's in Atlanta. <laughs> I'm in Mississippi. None of this is pre-planned. We just talking. I said, hey, do a recap with me. She was like, for sure. 
So I'm like, make a flyer. <laughs> <I'm at work. laughs> so uh, that's what we did. But um, I appreciate that. Um, my love language from my children, it is words of affirmation. So to hear you affirm that my level of parenting is working for you and you will carry it on to the next legacy or generation, that makes me proud. And I have to say all praises to God because if I did not connect to God, faith, I could say that. I, I wouldn't be able to say that. If I did not start building a relationship with God, if I did not start screaming out like, you know, like, um, somebody help. <laughs> I think the results of you guys would be totally different right now. So I can't boast and pridefully put, pat myself on the back and I say that the Holy Spirit didn't help me every step of the way and friends and DDPs. Um, I'm, I have not shared with social media at all yet, but I have about 15 different mom t-shirt designs and each one of those t-shirt designs come from a DDP or a mother that I have been connected to and um they all pretty much started with um sylvia west she was the first mom that kind of like woke that up in me so a piece of that starts from there and it goes on even to mimi um she has a t-shirt miranda tt kanik my sisters like all mm -hmm. of those shirts will be named after them like let me see which one you have on right now show them your shirt i think so i have her. so this one of my mom's shirts Okay, that one says, I can barely see from the comments, bold, genuine, intellectual, punctual, and then I am that mom. Okay, that shirt right there is definitely from my baby sister. So with each shirt comes a story of how I learned to be or, or journeyed into that mom indeed. So I'm grateful. I can't wait to share them with y'all, like, to purchase and mm -hmm. have fun with them. But you know on that DDP shirt, it had to say ride or die. <laughs> Definitely. One thing about DDPs, ride or die. It's like, it's no folding. You cannot be a DDP and be weak. Oh, definitely not. You can't. You can't. You can't. Not at all. But um, <clears throat> and I know everybody probably looked for you. Everybody here gone. Jay Sean had his game today. Of course, he just scored his first point. Jalen, she in Fillingsville somewhere. Who knows? Um, Jabron is at the game. Jabron got a basketball game, too. So, bye-bye. Thank you all. Make sure you guys hold me accountable. I'm going to tell you right now, I somebody got to remind me to go hard or go home because I will fall short. I will. Faith, mm -hmm. it's, it's your time to be me to me. Okay? Uh -oh. I get to be drill sergeant now. You get to be drill sergeant. I don't <laughs> Y'all hear that? Y'all the witness, okay? All right. They already told me I can date. So, you know, they on my side. I'm, I'm a little mad and salty about that, but okay. <laughs> All right, bye. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>